Hello everyone. Today's class is um, a continuation for the last video. Okay, where I told you I was going to teach you how to get the temperature cross um, out. Okay. Um, first, I have to tell you about uh, temperature cross point. All right. Temperature cross point is a point along the heat exchanger where the temperature of the cold stream and the temperature of the hot stream is equal right it can be at any point of this heat exchanger that's the meaning of uh, temperature cross point all right okay this um this yellow line over here in the case a temperature cross okay they can say temperature cross it's already written here there's a temperature cross all right this is brought about by the uh, by a scenario where the energy of the cold stream the temperature of the 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 temperature of the cold stream reaches its maximum before it exits the heat exchanger so i'll take it once again uh, temperature cross is a scenario where the cold stream hits its maximum before exiting the heat exchanger. This is brought about by the point at which the cold stream and the hot stream temperature are equal. What point was it around the heat exchanger? All right okay so when you have a temperature cross always remember that the exit temperature of the cold stream it's now higher than the exit temperature of the hot stream okay that is it and this is brought about by um, the phase of the fluid um, the pressure, the temperature, the pressure, and the drop in pressure. All right. I told you I was going to show you how to get that done. So one technique is trying to uh, manipulate the phase, the phase. Okay. Um, right here we have um, propane and the vapor form at the hot stream. And when it was exiting the heat exchanger, it came out as a liquid phase. Let's just give it a try here if it's going to change by keeping it in the same phase. All right. Wow. It converged to a minimum at an approach temperature system. Okay. So definitely the, the, the phase was one of the reasons for the temperature growth. I also told you um temperature could be one of the reasons right okay let me give um, the hot stream an extremely high temperature let's see what happens to the system one second wow we have a temperature cross again all right and that's because of a low factor um, ft correction factor it is very low right so that means the hot stream the cold stream and the temperature is very low for this kind of um, pressure so we still have a temperature cross once again so what do you do uh you set it back to where it was which was um 50 degrees centigrade okay so it's back to normal i also told you um uh, that the pressure drop is one means also okay let me give this uh a higher temperature a higher drop in pressure all right we have a temperature cross once again all right so this is what i was telling you about so the pressure matters the 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 drop in pressure matters the temperature matters the phase in temperature matters so these are the simple ways to get the temperature cross out of the system all right okay so I want you to also understand um, for every heat exchanger, the cold stream is always on the tube side of the hot stream is on the shell side for efficiency. Okay. And um, for 
uh, viscosity, the one with the high viscosity should be on the shell side, the low viscosity should be on the tube side. Um, for high pressure, the high pressure should be on the shell side, the low pressure on the tube side. Then the falling of a fluid, the one that falls the most should be on the tube side and the one that falls less should be on the shell side. Okay. Once again, I want to let you know that it's not bad to have a temperature cross. Alright? Now, when you have a temperature cross, you'll be using a very special kind of heater that regulates it down to the required temperature stream, alright? Rather than heat it up. This time around, it's going to regulate it to the required startup parameter, alright? Also, you can, if this is not a propane loop, you can now use the temperature from the, the propane to raise the temperature of another. This time around, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna go in through a shell side. Why the two, why the other one should be on the, on the, uh, on the uh, tube side, okay? okay if it's living here it's going to work on the show side and having an extra um, feed coming from the tube side okay this is all about uh, temperature cross and read more of it and do more practicing and you'll be perfect someday have a nice day